What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to New York City. Population eight and a half million people. Someone's got to protect them. The boys in blue have the five boroughs covered on the ground, but you got to take the four train up to the Bronx if you need aerial protection. It'll drop you off right where you need to be. Fordham, home of Vince Lombardi. Home to the seven blocks of granite. And home to the Fordham Four. a quartet of receivers, actually three wide receivers and a tight end to be exact. These guys have the talent to overtake any defense via the short, intermediate, or deep passing game. They help lead the Fordham Rams back to prominence, back-to-back -back playoff appearances, and could possibly help your NFL team get to where they want to be. The great part is that each one brings a unique set of skills to the table, varying in both size, speed, and also height, and that's why I'm here today to give you the scoop on these four and their small college spotlight. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our small college spotlight for the 2015 NFL Draft, and we're taking a look at the Fordham Four. That's tight end Dan Light and wide receivers Brian Wetzel to Bucky Jones Jr. and Sam Majala. Now we're going to hit the coaching stage to see why all four of these guys are some of the most underrated receiver prospects in the country. We're going to start with Dan White, the tight end. A couple of things about his game that impressed me. First, it was his run after the catch skills. For a guy that's 6'5", 250 pounds light, is pretty light on his feet, pun intended, and runs with good balance and power. Two things you want from your H back in the passing game, soft hands and the ability to do something after the catch. And Light is a guy that's not only comfortable with the ball in his hands, but also is a player that looks for the six and also looks to score. Second, it is Light's route running that stands out the most. You could tell he was well coached at Fordham. He doesn't round off his routes. He pushes hard into his stem and is able to break in or out perfectly with no wasted movements. This makes you very tough to defend as a football player. You can also see good awareness by Light reading coverages on the fly, knowing where the sticks are and breaking off his route and doing a great job in getting the first down. He also has those little nuances in his route running as well, bending this route into the defender, forcing him to widen out before breaking back toward the hash marks, creating separation, resulting in a big game. And finally, the blocking element was also excellent. Light executes wham blocks perfectly. There's an art to it, sizing up your opponent while getting there with timing and clearing him out of the way. That's a hell of a job because normally some tight ends or H-backs don't get the movement of the defender and the play gets bottled up in the backfield or gets stopped for a minimal gain. So when you look at what he did here, both times you see flawless execution that results in big gains for the offense. Even on lead blocks like this one versus Lehigh, excellent job Stone wall in the backer creating the crease for the running back so light for me grades out well in three areas run after the catch skills route running and also blocking on wham and also lead blocks and here's a guy that compares favorably to the indianapolis colts jack doyle and is worthy of a fourth round grade Let's look at Sam Ajala, who I project as an X at the next level, and you'll see him at the bottom of the screen here. The two areas that I came away highly impressed with was with his route running and ability to adjust and read coverage on the fly. First, let's look at his routes. This is a simple comeback, 12, come back to 10. His footwork is flawless. He sinks his hips, turns on a dime for the completion, and here's another example of that versus Villanova. Explodes into his stem, forces the corner to open his hips, and breaks it back for the reception. These coaches at Fordham are doing one heck of a job coaching these guys up and because you're running perfect routes you're going to find yourself open more often than not ajala also has soft hands and catches the ball very well away from his body now watch the release here beat him off the line of scrimmage with quickness and gave himself enough room to where the quarterback can place the ball over his shoulders where he didn't have to break stride and run out of bounds that's good technique and also field awareness and here's a textbook release in the red zone the defensive back didn't stand a chance remember i spoke about his reading coverages on the fly and here's a great example. Ajala had the option 
depending on the safety to break in toward the post or down the seam. He got the safety to tip his hand very early, giving him the green light to stay down the seam, and it was a big game for the Rams. And finally, versus Columbia, you'll see a great adjustment by Ajala to an underthrown pass. He slows down, posts up the cornerback, and attacks the ball at its highest point. Now, while Ajala may not be overly explosive, he's precise, he's tough, he's a technician, and I liken his game to Alan Hearns of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Next up is Brian Wetzel, who I graded out as a slot guy whose game is comparable to the Detroit Lions' is Ryan Broyles. The one element of his game that consistently shows up on tape is his knack for finding soft spots in zones and open grass. And Wetzel has great understanding of knowing when and where to break off his routes, whether it's splitting safeties in a cover two defense or reading the movement or hips of the defensive back and adjusting his route on the fly to the open area. Wetzel gets it from the neck up. And you can tell he definitely played a lot of football growing up as a kid. You see right here versus Villanova, instead of pushing toward the post where the DB had inside leverage, he snaps it off to the corner in open area for the big play. Here's two good moves right here on the safeties, getting them to dislocate their hips basically as he breaks inside for the reception. And finally, versus Army, you'll see him work hard on this route. First of all, he's beating the guy at the line of scrimmage. And second, on the safety to get open, make the catch, and get to the end zone. This is what a guy like Wetzel brings to the table, the savviness in route running to destroy zones with the ability to help your team out as a punt returner. Wetzel is one of those guys, one of those players that is ideally suited to play inside. And the final member of the Fordham Four is to Bucky Jones Jr. at 6 feet, 195 pounds. And Jones is in the business of making guys look foolish. He's a guy with great ankle flexion. And I know I always make fun of that term, but it describes what Jones brings to the table perfectly. He was Fordham's big plate threat because of his great burst and agility in his route running, coupled with the fact that he has the ability to make a guy miss after the catch. This is a great asset to have as you move forward and become a professional. Some of this is just insane, like this versus Columbia. The defender had no chance to bring him down in the open field. And it's not just the ability to make a guy miss. It's having those loose ankles, as we call it, allows you the ability to get in and out of your breaks rather quickly, which is why you saw Fordham utilize a lot of double moves with Jones at the receiver position. This is a guy that can get in and out, start and stop very quickly, and gets down the field in a hurry and makes big plays for the passing game. And at times, he put on a clinic with footwork, exploding out of your brakes, and accelerating after the catch. Now, foot speed-wise, I would say Jones is about a 4-5 or five guy, but from a burst and quickness perspective, he can play inside or out, X or Z, or even in the slot. And he compares favorably to Robert Heron of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming out of Wyoming. Wyoming had the same type of skill set. And when you look at his father, who played eight years in the NFL, I do believe Tabucky Jones Jr. has an even brighter future. Who says New York City doesn't have big-time college football? I just gave you four examples of guys whose skills in the passing game would make the Pac-12 blush. Remember, this isn't a random school we're talking about here. This is Fordham. This is the house that Lombardi built. And with the way those four guys controlled the airspace, New York City was able to sleep easy at night, and the Fordham Four should do just fine as they move on to the professional skies, wherever that may be.